So what if you don't have a router or you find routers intimidating to use? Well, do you have a jigsaw? The only difference between this and the router trammel is that the business end of this one is shaped like a jigsaw base, not round like a router base. And since you can't screw it to the bottom like you can with a router, I need to make a small place for the jigsaw to sit, and I just use some scraps of ply to do that. I just glued these little strips to the trammel, making sure that everything was nice and square and that the jigsaw fit snugly inside. Now one final detail is that I marked reference lines to show where the inside edge of the jigsaw blade lines up with the trammel. You can see here that this trammel has a center hole and also pivot points that line up with that hole. Now I will say to do this method, it is best if you size your workpiece first to the dimension of your finished circle, that way you can just drop the jigsaw in and begin cutting. And just like that, I've got another circle.